The Supreme Court of Pakistan had strong words for an absentee petitioner who had sought its direction to declare the February 8th polls as null and void. On Monday, a three-member bench led by Chief Justice of Pakistan took up the petition filed by the absentee petitioner who was reportedly identified as a former brigadier. Pakistan's Supreme Court tried to contact his phone number that was reportedly switched off. The judges questioned if the petitioner was seeking publicity before directing the station house officer to ensure that he was brought to the next date of the hearing on February 21st. The petition had urged the Supreme Court to order new elections within 30 days under the direct supervision of the judiciary. It also requested the court to put a stop to the formation of a new government till the case is decided. Now for more on this, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is joining us live from Islamabad. Anas, take us through the legal proceeding, what happens now and where do the coalition talks stand as of now? Well, first question, uh, first bit first. Uh, Ananya, today the uh, hearing was at the Supreme Court where Justice Qazi Fai, the, the Chief Justice of Pakistan, was hearing this petition which called for seeking the elections null and void. Uh, the petitioner was not there and uh, interestingly enough there was a uh, there was a request to withdraw the plea uh, to which Justice Qazi Fai has clearly stated that they will be going on to listen to this case uh, and that which is basically raising questions on the legality of the electoral process. Now to the second part of your question uh, uh, what we know what we understand so far I'm standing outside the minister's enclave behind me is the minister's enclave and uh, inside just a short while back we saw Isaktar entering the former finance minister who is the lead negotiator on the part of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz uh, to hold talks the to hold the fifth round of talks with the Pakistan People's Party uh, in order to go ahead and uh, uh, form a coalition government what I understand is that the MQM is already in town so is uh, and Nawaz Sharif, who arrived in Islamabad a short while ago, but he has uh, dashed off to Murray, the hill station, uh, where it's currently snowing as well. Uh, and what we understand is that Nawaz Sharif will also be holding meetings. So Islamabad is the place to be right now where all of these coalition talks are happening. And what I uh, uh, understand, having picked up from people uh, being directly being part of the negotiations, is that today is the final round, round of talks between the Pakistan People's Party and the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, after which we're expecting some sort of an agreement with with regards to the government coalition bit as well. Ananya? Right, Anas, you say Islamabad is the place to be right now, but the political deadlock that is continuing in Islamabad right now, how is it affecting the already poor state of the economy in the country? Well, important decisions have to be taken. Uh, Pakistan is already on the brink of an economic collapse. It won't be wrong to say it has to go back to the IMF uh, as soon as possible. The standby arrangement uh, expires just uh, at the end of the next month. Uh, your Pakistan's Senate uh, will be, half of the Senate will be out, uh, out and about uh, because they will be, uh, 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 their, their tenure comes to an end. So they, there will be retirement of the half of the Senate uh, as well. So lots of questions there with, with regards to the legality the caretaker government has stated that uh, uh, it would not really want to continue per se uh, but uh, let's just face it who would want to let go of power and power remains power that way. so uh, the IMF and international institutions while they have been calling for elections and and subsequent political stability they would want to have talks with an elected government and therefore it is imperative on the part of these politicians to hold these talks to, to come out with a mutually agreed uh, formula so that they can get the economy back uh, uh, reviving on its own uh, on its own feet so that the country uh, country's economic needs uh, needs can be met and then uh, uh, eventually some relief could be provided to the common public as well ananya ayla thank you so much for getting us all those updates from islamabad